Hello everyone, what's going on and welcome back to another edition of Flick News, the show here on Flick Direct where I give you guys the latest stab in entertainment news throughout the week and then I give you all my personal take on the matter at hand. I'm your host Austin Putnam and this week everybody was a pretty interesting week in terms of movie news, unfortunately starting off with the passing of an actor that just came literally out of nowhere, I was texted this while I was out, and I just thought, oh my god. Second of which being two more movies being delayed, and the third one being of a show coming out of a video game adaptation that I am actually very excited about. Going into our first news story this week, we must unfortunately talk about the very tragic passing of Matthew Perry. Now, for those of you who don't know Matthew Perry is, you may know him from his role as Chandler on Friends. Friends was like the thing for me growing up. I remember a little story of time for you all. One night, I couldn't sleep. I went downstairs and my parents were watching Friends while having clam, linguine and clam sauce. And I joined them for a little bit. I had a, I think it was like a 1 a.m. snack of clam sauce or something like that it was like a 12 a.m. 1 a.m. snack of clam sauce that I watched friends with them I can't remember which one episode it was but I remember uh that night very very fondly I was probably like what seven years of age somewhere around there I was actually very young when I first saw friends and ever since I first saw friends back then I have been absolutely hooked I have not seen every single episode but I have seen a good majority of them and I always remembered Matthew Perry as Chandler. Every other character on that show was great, but to me, Chandler and Matthew Perry's performance as Chandler was the reason why I kept coming back to Friends. In case if you're also wondering what Matthew Perry has also been in, if you're a big film fan, you may know him for this classic teen comedy called Seventeen Again, which is actually a pretty decent movie. And also, for your video game fans out there, he voiced the main antagonist in Follow New Vegas, which is such a darn good Fallout game. He was also in Scrubs, a movie called Fool's Rush, and if I'm not mistaken. But of course, what is the one thing that people remember him as? And that is Chandler and Friends. I mean, Friends is known as one of the greatest sitcoms of all time. I guarantee when people talk about their favorite sitcoms, Friends will always be brought up along with the likes of, let's say, Seinfeld, Golden Girls, everybody loves Raymond, but I can guarantee you that a lot of people bring up Friends and a lot of people bring up Matthew Perry as Chandler. The entertainment world, to say the least, lost such a giant and a legend, not in terms of acting, but in comedy and just an overall entertainment period. Matthew Perry was such an amazing talent. I'm still kind of in shock and I'm still trying to find the right words to say about this because this actually affected me so much and it just came so suddenly too. Rest in peace to Matthew Perry's closest friends and family. My deepest condolences and rest in peace to one of the greatest talents who ever lived. And you know what? While Matthew Perry may be gone, he will never be forgotten. Time to bring on some good news, and I mean that in the most sarcastic way possible. Guys, it's time to talk about some delays for films. Two big ones. One of them being Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 2, and the other one being the live-action remake of Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Gonna get Snow White and the Seven Dwarves out right the way, because Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, as you all know as the first anime film made by the Walt Disney Company. I mean, it was a landmark, not in terms of animation, but in terms of film. When it comes down to the live-action version of this movie, I have some hope knowing the director, Mark Webb. I think he's a, a very good director, bringing us movies like Marriage of the Summer, Amazing Spider-Man, and I heard that movie Gifted was really, really good. I do think that Mark Webb is a very, very gifted director, and I think Rachel Ziegler is a good actor. I would generally think she is. But I will say this. That first look, though. Oh, God. I do not know how I feel about that first look. It just looks very weird, is the word I'd say. But still, nonetheless, I'm reserving judgment until I actually see the film when it comes out. I, it's actually coming out in 2024. 
five now, but so they got pushed back a whole year. A real big bummer, and I kind of understand this. Actually, I do understand it's not kind of, but still getting to the point. The next big bummer is Mission to Pause with Direct Getting Part 2 is the other delay, and that one for me is the bummer, knowing how much I really dug, in fact, how much I loved Dead Reckoning Part 1. Dead Reckoning Part 1 kicked so much but and actually our home video review for the 4k will be up actually later tonight's look up for to that and of course it is a part two it is coming out now not next year but the year afterwards in 2025 and honestly i can really understand why because that film i imagine part two is gonna be so big already knowing how epic that part one is part two is gonna probably be just as epic if not even more so so i completely understand the delay even if that means we have to wait just a bit longer to see what the heck is going to happen after the events the first part did just thinking of how big and epic that directing part two will be i understand the delay absolutely take your time on this one i'm looking forward to seeing where ethan is going to go after getting what he got in directing part one take your time bring it on we are ready and we're willing to wait at least I, at least i am ready to wait i'm willing to wait going to the tv news we have a release date for the fallout amazon tv show a show that i originally didn't know how i felt about this but at the same time this show does have a lot of potential. This show could essentially be the next big thing. It could be the next Walking Dead. Especially knowing that the show was created and developed by, I don't know, Jonathan Owen, Lisa Joy, the same people that brought us Westworld. I only have very, very good faith. And if you haven't played Fallout, everybody, I would highly recommend it because Fallout, especially Fallout 3, is one of the greatest scams of all time. The most important news is that we have an official release date for the pilot of the show, and the release date for the pilot is April 12th, 2024. It's coming sooner and sooner than we expect. I mean, it's April. Look, this is about guys. We're on October of this year. It comes out in April. April. That is sooner than we think it is, guys. It's coming faster than we expect. I am so freaking excited knowing how much I love Fallout, specifically Fallout 3 and even Fallout 4 for that matter. I'm excited as can be to see where Jonathan and Lisa Joy take this show given how much potential that this has as a TV series. I'm really excited. Bring on Fallout, guys. And that is going to wrap things up for this week's show. Please comment on this double starting off. When it comes to Matthew Perry, what was your favorite role of his if it's friends? Don't worry, I don't blame you. But if it's not friends, what are your favorite roles is his? When it comes down to the delays of Snow White and the Seven Dwarves and Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 2, how do you feel about the delay? And finally, when it comes down to the Fallout show, what are you expecting from the show? Are you excited as I am? Let us know below. I hope you all enjoyed this week's new show. If so, please hit that like button, also share, and don't forget the subscribe button and the notification bell for the latest new show goes live. If you guys want to see our previous two new shows, please click it right there or right there and of course until next week's new show goes live we'll see y'all next week have a wonderful week and happy halloween everybody hit like smash subscribe and get notified for whenever reviews interviews and news go live